So I'm going to start doing a tutorial here. It's the first part. The first song I want to do is one of my favorite Metallica songs of all time. Probably one of their most famous from before the Black Album. Master of Puppets, which is the second song on this album of the same name. It's one of their most famous riffs. So what I'm going to do is break it down section by section here. I'll start with the intro before the verse kicks in. So what they start out with here, this riff. Okay, so the first time around we start out with just an open E5 chord, very quick, starts off the song with a bang. And then we shift down here to the D chord, followed by the C sharp chord, followed by the C. So it's basically running down E, and then those three, if you're a tab person, 10, 9, 8 root on the E string, so the, the, the five chords there, so the D5 in this position, then you have the C sharp 5 in that position, and the C5 in this position. So the first four chords. And then we start going into the fast ascending riff on the E, on the e string. The, uh, basically it goes down note by note, so I'll play it slow first here for you. People in the tabs I know play this up here. And that's all fine and good to play it up there, but uh, James Hetfield and Kirk Hammett play it solely on the E string. Um, they told a story that originally they wrote a riff up on the G string here where it was. And they thought it was kind of funky, and it was only after they moved it down to the low E they said, oh, we got something here. So we start out with a with two down picks on the E string open, and remember, um, James Hetfield down picks everything in this riff, so no alternate picking if you want it to sound right. It sounds different doing this. Then if you really grind it and go. You can see how it sounds a lot different. So we basically, we're gonna go three E notes, but we're gonna go open, open, palm muted, and then we're gonna go on the 12th fret, here the E note without a palm mute system. Then we do the exact same thing, but move down a fret to the D sharp note. So it's, first. the first six notes are, Okay, then we go down and do the same thing, but when we would go to this D note, we go to back to the chord progression, the D, C sharp, E. So we go six notes that we talked about before. Then we add two more palm muted E's. And then we go into the chord progression. So we start out E, 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 D sharp, E, E. C sharp 5, C5. And then we 
we start going down the pattern again with the next note down to the B. So it's. Palm mute, palm mute, B, palm mute, palm mute, A sharp. So the first we have so far. And then when we get down to the last notes on the string, we start doing instead of double palm mute on the E, it's only a single. So before the A note, we have a double palm muted E. But then after that, we just do single palm mutes. So after that, it goes. A and then it goes down to your G sharp G, uh, G sharp G, F sharp, F E. So we go down here, we go on the B double, on the A sharp double, double before the A. So after the A, we do single palm mute before each note. So it's palm mute, palm mute, A, palm mute. Next note, palm mute, next note. And then instead of doing a double in the end, we actually go down and do the uh, F sharp F, F sharp F E ending. So let me try to break it down a little slower again. So if we, at the beginning we had. So we do a double before the A, a single before the G sharp, a single before the G, a single before the F sharp, and then we just go directly to the F and end the pattern. So the whole thing again, slow. And make sure to get that at the end. A lot of tabs have the ending go. Or they don't hit this F note, and that's a big note at the end. It makes it sound different. Versus. So you have a descending scale pattern at the end, basically a chromatic scale all the way down the E string from E to E. So one more time at speed. Okay, the next riff, that riff repeats a couple of times before we go to the next riff. The next riff is the riff before the verse. We have, it goes as follows. I'll play it at speed first. So it's basically something like that, and before the verse again, we have some changes in there. Like there's, a, it goes like, um, it speeds up and goes. Okay, so the first couple times around where it's just James Hetfield's guitar, it starts out, and it's, I'll play it slow here. with all the notes being open, we'll add in the palm mutes, it goes like this. Okay, so the first two notes in the progression, the palm muted E and the palm muted F. And then it goes up, basically repeats that pattern and just goes up onto the A string here. We have the B, C, C sharp, three notes. So it's a pattern that repeats that zero, one, or E, F sharp pattern. So it's Z, zero, one, again. So on the A string, we're really just doing, so it's, um, what is this? This is A, A sharp, B, C, C, sharp, C, B. So if you want to think, it, before every one of those notes, we do a E and an F palm muted on the E string. So it goes. And we repeat that again. But before we hit 
the C sharp, we then go into this sliding riff where we slide between the G chord and the F sharp chord. So it's then a palm muted E, then that slide again. So that riff, the whole thing is. And make sure when you do the slide, you do a slide down and then palm mute your E. And then when the drums kick in and the bass kicks in, that riff is a little bit longer. It goes like, it starts out. So it's basically the same thing. We add in a double on the B note here. So it starts out the same way. B, C. But we double that B note there on that time around. The next time through. You hit that chord, you hit the B chord there. So slowly it's. Next time it's the same as the first one. And then you go back to that slide. Okay, so that whole part starting where the drums kick in after Hetfield goes is as follows. part there before the little solo riff and the verse starts, that slider of a thing repeats itself. And so, so we go slide, palm mute, slide, palm mute, slide, and then back to the slide again. And we're sliding between G, F sharp, and then it means it hit an E chord at the end. And then right at the very end before the verse, there's a funky little uh, riff, triplet kind of feel riff that Kirk plays. It's basically E, B here, and then we have the eighth fret here, which I guess that would be, um, so we have what a D, C, B, so A sharp. So we're going, um, E, B, A sharp. So that riff he plays right here, it's... It was five times and ends on a sustained note. So let's play the whole thing. I'm sorry if I didn't do a great job explaining it. Hopefully we'll go slow here through both, all the riffs. So the intro riff is, again, as follows. Next riff before the verse, the, the right after the, the descending riff is. Then we go into the one where the drums kick in, where it goes a couple times. again and on the next ending it goes all right let me play through one more time fast for you guys A 
I mixed and matched a little of the riffs there. Um, hopefully you guys get the idea. Um, hopefully you liked the video and I explained a little bit well how to play it. Uh, I'll go into the verse riff, the pre-chorus riff, the chorus riff, and all that stuff coming up soon. So until next time, uh, see you later and hope you enjoyed it.